timeout called by Orlando. 421 in the third. Not a 43-point game tonight. The Hawks have shown up, and we've... <laughs> yeah, not the first towel he's been involved with with the playoffs. For those of you who remember the old days of the good series, but... 69 all here, 421 remaining in the third quarter. Jamal Crawford has had a nice game for the Hawks. 13 points, three assists, three rebounds for Jamal. And we uh, send you back through the Jamal Crawford final. This is first playoff appearance in 10 years. 676 games until he did it. And doing it in a role as the six-man award winner at 18 points per game. We mentioned this in the first half. 28 three-and-ones, four-point plays. Most in league history, he's been a 50-point scorer at Golden State, Chicago, and with the Knicks, one of four men to do it with three teams. QB Jamal Crawford's impact, the eighth overall pick back in the 2000 draft, has been huge season and tonight. Mike, it's it, it given Joe Johnson a life, mainly because he took the pressure off of him in the closing six minutes of every game. Jamal Crawford and Joe Johnson, they shoot 82 and 86% on the line. Plus, when the game is on the line, both of them shoot a high percentage when they go for the last shot. So he has closed out and won a number of great games at home, especially for Atlanta this season. Well, two jump out stats, they are plus 20, plus minus with Crawford on the floor tonight, and they're all 23 on the line. Great stuff. Down two. Carter block. has it taken away on his way. Smith oh, nice. to Williams. Foul by Janeer Nelson as he was going up. Great foul. Good foul. That's what you expect out of your guy rotating back. Just make sure he doesn't get the gut shot off. Now catch this block. Now this is just beautiful. Once again, Harford. Remember we told you, Harford and Josh Smith, both of them get two a game. Then, one of the very few times Atlanta out on a break. Up until now, the fast break points are 7-0 in favor of Orlando. But they need Marvin Williams to get them the, the uh, free balls get out on the break, get some offensive boards, and score some points at that small forward position because you're too good of an athlete not to be making a big contribution in the series. 25 for 25 with the line. That's a great stat, isn't it? Ooh. Great stat. Hawks by four. White Howard, 18 in the first quarter, five points since. Foul trouble and a bloody nose. Carter out of the corner, missed it. Rebounded by Horford for the Hawks, and Orlando's offense has gone quiet. Well, they double-teamed Howard quickly that time, and then on the rotation back, they did a very good job. But you're still going to get that three in the corner. Crawford down to Mir Nelson. They were even with him at that point, so it'll just be a foul with the team over the limit. Free throws come. Dwight Howard's by quarter story with just the one in the second and here in the third quarter with four points. Well, remember we told you when he came back in and played the last five and a half minutes of the second quarter, he did not get a shot at them. And now, once again, they're double teaming on the catch now. So they've changed up almost by the quarter, and you like that. Also, when they kicked the ball out of the double team, they fronted, Horford fronted Howard so that they could not make a pass back into him. So that's good strategy, good rotation. Can you keep up this energy, though, for the remaining part of this game? Horford has three. Zaza Petulia back in. You keep looking at that right knee. Heather told us in the first half, Horford getting that knee iced while he blazed. The Hawks trainer's been all over that. Back to it there. Good quarter for Jameer. Ten points in the third for Nelson, and the lead for the Hawks is two. Mike Bibby to the bench very quickly. It's Crawford, Johnson working with the starters. Now Petulia instead of Horford. Too much time. Too much time there. Barnes is doing a great job on Joe Johnson. And the ball not swinging. Off the miss, two guys from Orlando tip it. Oh, One guy from Orlando gets it. Josh Smith, oh, lost. who lost it. And on the other end, it's Barnes. Is this incredible? In this half, Josh Smith has three turnovers that have hurt at the other end of the block. Right. That should have been a field goal, okay? They, they did everything right, but Joe Johnson's got to stop dribbling the ball here and wasting 15 seconds. 
Mike Woodson says ball must swing side to side for offensive success. Crawford a three. Isn't it amazing when you make the move and now you either go to the other side of the floor or come back to the opposite quarter and catch them rotating. You catch them rotating with a good three-point shooter like Crawford, you're in business. He catch Howard. Foul fouled by Petulia. Now this is just a turnover in the paint and then good heads up. Now Barnes has done a nice job defensively here. He's not scoring a ton of points, but he's playing Joe Johnson and really in his face. Good ball movement here, Crawford on the other side. Now if you notice the white shirt trying to close him out, one thing you can count on about Orlando, they get into the paint to help out. Once that ball is skipped past, they'll rotate out hard. You can count on these guys. They, they really try to help one another on the deep passes. You know, I'll tell you, the guy who I've run across during my golf days, Gio Vellani, is a, he's a doctor psychologist. He's at Rollins College here in Orlando, and he's done a lot of work with Dwight Howard. Remember, Heather told us Dwight was taking notes watching that yeah. movie the other day? Well, it was Dr. Gio over at Rollins College who got him to kind of go through the process of watching that movie and understanding its message. But you also notice Howard is going through the same exact routine here when he goes to the free throw line. And he's been great tonight at the line, 11 of 16. The routine, kind of like golf, same routine every time. You're going to hit a putt, go through the same routine. Free shot, same routine. Dr. Gio has worked with a lot of very good PGA Tour players, a bunch of whom I know are watching down in Jacksonville tonight. Dr. Gio has done good work with Howard, who goaltends that one, score the basket. And Atlanta back on top. Now that was good effort though by Dwight Howard. He came from the opposite side. That's just why he's going to come in right to the right of your screen. He moved from his man to come over to help out in that situation. But I like the fact that Josh Smith, he's got to be more active now from an offensive standpoint. Carter around Johnson. Well, Vince Carter going to the basket. For field goal number four, he becomes the fourth Orlando player in double digits. Been tight since Orlando jumped out 7-0 to start this third quarter. Smith from the top. Three, two. Well, he can make that. We all know that, you know, in his first five years, he took 415. You know, threes only made 27%. But now, he doesn't get out there. He only took seven all season. Give him a lot of credit. But he can make that mid-range jump shot. Carter lost Williams. Feeling it from oh, the outside. God. Toe on the tape, a two for Vince. One point game. Yeah, they've been waiting for that. We haven't seen that all night tonight, Mike. Well, he didn't hesitate. It's almost like the quick move to the basket on Joe Johnson put the confidence back up. Remember we said, if you're going to follow up over the top of those pick and roll, he'll be open into the paint. On the switch, Johnson guarded by Richard Lewis. Five to shoot. Come on, you're wasting so much time. One to shoot. Shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. See, there's no excuse to getting into your first option with five to seven seconds on the shot clock. And we're seeing it now time and time again. They've got to get back to their movement. Get back to your movement, and you're getting great shots. Come on now, you can't get tired. You've got to keep pressing on Orlando. Atlanta had four turnovers in the first half. Six turnovers in this third quarter and a couple of shot clock violations. Now three on the game. Mo Evans now guarding Carter. Open baseline, Barnes for two. Beautiful movement. Beautiful team movement. If I'm a small forward and I have Barnes or Petrus at that position, I got to be worried because they're constantly moving without the ball. To their feet in Orlando. Three second clock difference. Crawford lifting and watching. Knocking down three. What a shot, isn't it? Huh? Four to go. Nelson has time. And the hot man in this third quarter for Orlando. Oh!